Hey guys, Nick Harrington, and here we're out at Lake Sanye, and we're going to talk about walleye spawn. Many people are concerned, look, it's late April and we still have ice on the lakes. Is this going to impact our spawn? Is this going to impact our populations? And the answer is no. And this is for two main reasons. The walleye spawn is driven by two major driving forces. The first, water temperature, but the second is sun. The sun dictates how long the days are going to be. This is called photo period. And every year, it is never going to change. It is going to remain constant. April 15th to April 15th, the day will always be the same. So, this is a very major driving force and is cited by many pieces of literature. However, this year, the water temperature has not agreed with the photo period. So, is this a bad thing? No, not really. It just means it's gonna be delayed a little bit. And once this water temperature does hit that ideal range, it's really gonna get going and it's really gonna be hard because they know that they're late and they do know they are late. So, when is this gonna happen? Well, walleye tend to spawn anywhere from the water in the 40s to low 50s. This ideal range is about the mid 40s, probably that 44, 45, up to about that 52. That's when it's ideally gonna happen. But if it hits 40, 41, 42 this year and they know they're late, it's on and they're gonna go big time. The main thing we have to be concerned about with our fish populations is are the fish going to be okay? Well, we're out here on the spawning area right now. Walleye like to spawn on this rocky gravel shoreline like this. Could be one, two, three, four. It might go as deep as 10 feet. But right here, I've observed walleye spawn all over the Sanye boat launch because it all has this nice rocky shoreline and they like to stage out in the deep water, come up here and deposit their eggs. So, what happens to the eggs? Well, let's talk about the life cycle of the fish. So, we've originally laid the walleye eggs here. These are our walleye eggs. They're being preyed upon by juvenile perch. We might have some minnows. We might have some other walleyes. It's a tough life as a walleye egg. So, if, the, if it's a really windy year, wham! We might wipe out all of these eggs, and we might not have much to work with. This could be a wind event blowing these eggs off. It could be a heavy rainstorm. But this is really going to be what impacts our population. But let's say we have a good year and we have a lot of the eggs and they do pretty well and everything weather-wise goes well. There's still going to be some predation by the perch and some predation by the walleye. And that's going to bring us to our fry. So now, as you can see, not near as many fry as there were eggs, but that's okay because we know that they have a hard life. Fry have a hard life as well. Again, all these fish species are out preying on them because they're small, they're vulnerable, they can't really get away, and they're an easy meal. So, let's assume everything goes well for the fry. We might only come out with a couple juvenile fish. These will be our one-year-olds. So, we only have a couple, but that's okay because we know that mortality rates are going to be extremely high in these two areas, and so this is pretty ideal, actually. And then, let's say, still one-year-old fish having some issue with the bigger species. And this might only translate to one adult walleye. But that's okay, because this is what we expect. So, this is kind of the life cycle, and this is mainly what we have to be concerned about. Because we're more concerned about the weather after the eggs are deposited. We want good wind, not too much rain. We want everything to go perfectly for these eggs to turn into fry and then grow up to age one. There's gonna be a lot of predation, but as long as these eggs don't get balled off, they can go through that cycle and we're gonna have good walleye fishing many years down the road. Hopefully this explains it. And next week we're gonna talk about their cousin, the yellow perch. Stay tuned.